Okay, what's up? Good morning, guys. Um, it's still dark out, surprisingly. Um, okay, finally we got some light, guys. Um, all right, all said and done with the jobs for the, the day. I would love to get another one. It's only 10 a.m. and we got two out of the way. I love starting early. And then the second job we're leaving right now, I'll show you guys what it is. It's in the trailer. But yeah, we picked up those two TVs and yeah, that's pretty much it. That it thing. basically took up absolutely no room. So it's like, I couldn't justify charging more than the minimum. Um, Check out that, it's kind of small. Is that a dump? I'm just telling a trailer. All right, guys, we're actually dropping off our trailer right now. This whole back area, I'm allowed to keep my trailer at, and I don't I don't have to pay anything um, just because it's through friends or family. If I ever get a fleet going, it'd be cool. I could pay the guy and, you know, maybe keep a bunch back here. Okay, guys, we just wrapped up a meeting, and then we instantly had a call afterwards, and um, we went and did a bid for a small job. So yeah, it's basically a minimum pickup, um, $100. It's just a few things in the garage. All right, the good old dump, guys. We're here. So um, they've been kind of renovating this place and adding that building to it. Um, I think I'm gonna have a chance to meet the owner of this place here soon. But uh, yeah, uh, they just put my card on file, so now it's going to be a little bit faster for me every time, which, hey, that's great. Trailer back there. I don't know what it is, guys, but in the past two hours, we literally got, like, five leads. But yeah, guys, out of all the leads, we already finished one, that $100 job. And then we got one for tomorrow. Um, it's really weird. And I didn't like bidding it over the phone, so I gave him a range. It's a tanning bed removal with some other trash. And the tanning bed's upstairs. Um, I looked it up, and it should be around 250 pounds. So literally, I'm going to take that thing apart, guys. Okay, this is future Travis. Just want to do a quick voiceover while I'm showing you guys um, the job we're currently doing with that tanning bed and everything we're removing. I just want to say this video is over a multiple day period. As you may or may not know, I've been moving, so I haven't had Wi-Fi, so I really can't upload videos. So we ended up getting a bunch of footage. Um, but literally, guys, things are picking up. We got this job off of Craigslist, I believe, and then the previous job was from google 100 percent organically so that's amazing and then i think we may have got some through word of mouth it's just hard to tell um but yeah we have the employee with us on this job and we got future jobs coming up in this video that are amazing so yeah 500 total for this making good profit and it didn't take that long I'm just realizing I didn't get enough footage for that last video. We filled up the trailer with a ton of metal. We got the tanning bed in there, washer dryer, some other stuff. So we scrapped what we could. Um, and this is just the footage from it. And then after this, we're heading straight to the dump to drop off everything with our employee. I know that was probably only like one minute for you guys. But uh, yeah, that took about four hours. We started at 8.30 and now it's a little after 12.30 and I'm just dropping off the trailer now. 500 for that job, we paid our employee 80. Okay guys, we just wrapped up another shift here working for Jeff Bezos. Um, it's still the same night as when we removed the tanning bed. So yeah, I'm super tired, it's about uh, 2 30. Okay, I was about to wrap up that video, but we still got some great jobs and footage I wanna show you. So uh, check this out. So we're gonna take one full load for 400. Get in there. Oh. 
let's just leave all the metal and then put it on top and then... All right, I'm gonna voice over this goober again. So I just wrapped up working at Amazon for the night and we cleared out that barn for a total of 780. It was two loads. The first load was 380. I mean, the first load was 400 and then the second load was 380. So 760 total minus a bunch of expenses, but the profit margins were really good and where they were supposed to be at. And that job looked way, way worse than it was. It still took the majority of the day, about five or six hours, but it looked like a lot of construction debris, but it really wasn't. And he didn't really even care about getting everything out. Like we just got the majority of stuff out. I'm, yep. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Those are, those scoopers are awesome. They work. Yeah. They work well. Okay, guys. Needless to say, we did not get that hoarder job. Um, they were not happy with the price I gave them at all. It was one of those weird situations where. They're renting out a uh, dumpster and then they just want to like contract this out. And I've done a job like that before. I hate it, guys. Um, you can give them an hourly price and that's what I recommended at first. Um, but I, it's better to do just a solid price for you because then you're in charge and they're not in charge of the hourly thing. It just works out better. Um, if it was hourly, it would have been like 120 or 140 for three people, which tell me if that's too cheap. I just don't know. And I estimated it to take anywhere from like 10 hours to 30 hours. Um, and it's because we're sorting stuff. And also the, it, the job kind of looks, I know I said this before, but it looks worse than it is. So um, a lot of it was cardboard boxes. And he said, we're not doing every room and we're not going to have to scoop the floor. But anyway, nevertheless, a total I quote it is twenty five hundred. Now that sounds pretty cheap. I thought that was a good deal um, for three guys to come out and just take out all the big stuff for them, like everything, get everything down to ground level and throw it in the dumpster for them. But yeah, he was not happy with that. He was like, I could hire day laborers right now for five hundred, and he wanted me and the the guys, my employees. To be day laborers and i told him i said hey i am not a day laborer i am a business owner with the goals and business expenses to pay for i'm sure you could find a day laborer to do it for 500 but nobody else is going to take away the headache like my business does because that's what the business does guys that's the real value of this business we take people's problems away and yes we remove their junk but we take their headache away guys so keep that in mind and thank you for watching the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, everything. Love you guys. Peace out. When you're tired, let me see how you push yourself. Come on, man. Get up. Get up again tomorrow. Get up again tomorrow. Get up again tomorrow. The next day. Every morning, every day of our lives, we have choices to make. You have the choice to stay in bed, to say, forget it. I'm not going to work out today or forget it. I'm not going to work hard today. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Uh, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice, okay? This, 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 let me say it again. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. And I promise you, man, by getting up early and getting after it to go lose weight, study harder, guess what? It's a lot fucking harder now. That repetition becomes a lot harder now. Today's another day. Today's another day that I'm faced with another choice to make. So I'm making the choice again to put my shoes on early in the morning and get after it again. So make the right decision.